Mike's in the kitchen cooking red fish, on frog legs in the fryer. Swordfish backstrap the breast, oh yeah, throw it all on the fire. Out in the sportsman's paradise, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Captain Jody Dunwoss, my wife Sandy. Uh, we're here today with Chef's A Rod and Reel. We have Mike Lane with us in our home today. And uh, although you see me fishing with Mike just about every week on Sportsman's Paradise, uh, we also know how to cook a little bit. Um, I was born into, uh, born into the food and restaurant business. Um, my family's been in the business for 82 years, and still today we own Dunwar, Sandy and I own Dunwar Superette and Diner, which Sandy pretty much runs by herself. Um, I'm there occasionally doing a specialty item such as hog's head cheese, boudin, and um, deer processing and homemade sausages and things like that. Uh, today we're going to do our special gumbo that we do here at home. Um, it's a little bit different than uh, what we normally do at work because we put a lot of extra uh, time into this. We have a smoked uh, chicken that's going to be deboned and we're going to take the, the, just the meat that's going to go in the gumbo but we're going to take the skin and caucus and make a stock. Stock is real important when you're making any kind of gravy or gumbo and of course the roux. We're going to do a roux with flour and oil in the microwave oven and uh, we have um, Hot sausage, uh, this is venison hot sausage made by me off a of deer I just killed recently. This is undoey, store bought undoey. And, and we have um, lump crab meat. We have of course Louisiana crawfish tails. If it's not Louisiana crawfish tails, we don't want them. We have um, Louisiana caught shrimp. We have a couple pounds of shrimp. This is the peelings that I saved. It's gonna go on my stock also. This is um, Thanksgiving Day Turkey Caucus. We saved that to go in the stock also. So as you can see, I'm real particular about my stock. Stock is what makes great gumbos and great gravies. We're gonna have a little okra in it. This is only two pounds of okra. And of course we have our onions, bell pepper, red pepper, red bell pepper, and shallots, green onions, and parsley and garlic. So first thing Sandy's gonna do, she's gonna start frying down this um, deer hot sausage. I wanted to show y'all what it looked like before I cut it up. I'm just gonna cut it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you start frying this down while I I'm, I'm debone the, tur uh, the uh, chicken. Again, this is venison sausage. This is our hot sausage. It's made with 50% pork and 50% deer. And uh, we're gonna fry this down. If you know, if, as you watch us, everything that's, all of this stuff's gonna wind up in one pot, one big pot, but each thing is gonna be cooked and put aside separately so when we get that fried taste out the frying pan, that grilled flavor out the food and the juices, and then we're gonna combine everything together. All right, I'm getting ready to start frying hot sausage. Now while I have the hot sausage frying, I'm gonna go ahead and start my roux. I have one cup of flour and one cup of vegetable oil. And depending on whatever size uh, pot of gumbo you're making, you can whatever you know you can use a half a cup of flour to a half a cup of oil, just depending on what size uh, pot of gumbo you're making. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I'm a, I like to start it at five minutes and then take it out and check the color, and I'll put it in um, like a minute at a time just to get to the desired color that I like. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm gonna debone this chicken. This chicken has been smoked for about five hours in my Bradley smoker outside overnight. Um, and I just took it out this morning. As you can see, it came out beautiful. It's beautiful color, it has a great smell, and it's gonna really flavor our gumbo. Uh, when you're making a gumbo, this smoking technique really makes the gravy incredible. I learned this from a friend of mine years ago his name was Kenny Babin. He used to cook the best gumbos. And um, he, he told me that the sec his secret was, no matter it's rabbit, squirrel, chicken, duck, he always smoked the, uh, smoked the meat first. And it really makes a difference. So we're gonna put all our meat in the pan to save, and we're gonna put our scraps in the stock pot. Also, I saved my shrimp. We're gonna put our shrimp peelings in the, in the stock pot also. I'm trying not to put the fat out of the chicken in there because we really don't want a lot of grease on top of our gumbo. Bones, the, the bones off of any animal, whether it be beef bones, turkey, chicken, um, 
the, the juice comes out of the bones and flavors the water and makes the stock. And that is the key. The stock and the roux is the key to any gravy or gumbo. So uh, always remember, if you have the extra time to make a stock, that's the way to go. Hey guys, I'm finished frying the hot sausage. I'm gonna take it out and um, leave the juice in there. And I'm gonna put my andouille in the pot and fry down my andouille. And once I do that, I'm gonna throw all my seasonings in and fry my seasonings down. We like to do everything a little separate. It takes a little bit longer than throwing everything in the pot at one time, but it comes out really, really, really good. We have our stock on. It's one gallon of water with our chicken and our turkey, bones and skin. We're gonna let that cook for about an hour and uh, it's gonna make almost like a gravy before we even add our root to it. It's gonna be great. Okay, now I'm gonna put the uh, andouille um, in the pan and fry that down a little bit. Doesn't take long for the andouille to fry it down because this is pre-cooked already. And then once we get that done, we're gonna take it out, put it in the pan with the hot sausage, and then we're gonna put all our seasonings, our onions and bell peppers and uh, the red bell peppers and the green bell peppers. And we can put that in here and um, fry that down. Here's some uh, two pounds of okra. This is just your basic frozen cut okra that you can buy at the grocery store. We just put a little okra in it because we like a little okra in our gumbo, not a lot. Uh, it, ha it helps to thicken the gumbo a little bit also, but you want to cook the slime out of it. So we're going to put it on the stove and continue, continue to stir it on a low fire till all the slime is gone. My okra is on the stove. I'm going to put a little oil in it just to keep it from trying to stick to the bottom of the pot, not a lot. I'm also going to put just a little bit of vinegar in it because my mom always told me it takes it helps take the slime out, so we're going to do that. This is um, the roux after um, probably about eight minutes so far. I'm going to put it back in, you know, for about maybe another two to three minutes total, but I'm going to do it, you know, one minute at a time, and we'll see what co color it comes out, see if we get our desired color, and that'll be it. This is the easiest way to make a roux. Now we have the andouille done. We're going to add it to this little pan of hot sausage. And I'm going to leave the, uh, the, uh, the drippings, the, the grease in the bottom, and I'm going to throw my onions and bell peppers um, in there and start frying that down, a little garlic. You always wait and add your parsley and your green onions last, um, you know, when your food's almost ready. I don't, that's how I like to do it. Now we have, um, we're going to start frying our seasoning down. I have four cups of uh, chopped onion, one cup of chopped green bell pepper, one cup, chop, cup of chopped red bell pepper, and about two tablespoons of chopped garlic. And we're going to fry that down and add that to our pot after. As you can see, we really have our stock going good. It's boiling. You can see the shrimp in there, and the turkey, and the chicken, and the, the smoked skin. It's really going good. See all stuff? And then we have our little seasoning just about done. As you can see, it's nice and pretty. I always like to use a little red bell pepper in it because I find it gives it a little bit more color. In fact, it looks real Christmassy. We have our roux ready. We just took it out. Um, we have our desired color, which is like, I don't know, chocolatey, caramel color, you know, whatever. But this is the finished product here. And we'll Looks have great. it ready to put into our pot of gumbo that we're gonna eat while we're watching the Saints beat the Redskins. Yeah, and speaking of the Saints, Sean Payton, Drew Brees, after y'all wrap up this football season, this summer, y'all need to come on the boat and fish with Open me and Mike. Invitation. Catch some big speckled trout during the spawning season. We guarantee it, you have a blast. Okay guys, now we can go ahead and strain our stock into our big pot and start getting our gumbo all nice and ready to go. Guys, we have our stock in the pot. Now we're adding our roux to it. Okay, now we're gonna add our dry seasoning. We have four tablespoons of salt one tablespoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, and a tablespoon of Slap Your Mama seasoning, the yellow one. I just added one tablespoon of kitchen bouquet, um, just to give it a little bit more color. Okay, now we're gonna add our cooked okra. Okay, now we're gonna add our onions and green and red bell peppers and garlic. And put, every, put all your meats in there and say you're gonna let it cook for about a half an hour. Then you're gonna finish it off with all your seafood and your, and your green stuff. 
Okay guys, now we can add into all, all our seafood. We're gonna add a tablespoon of uh, gumbo filet. This is to give it a little flavor and it kind of thickens it up a little bit too. And um, you can always add a little bit more at the table if you like. You know, some people like a little bit more, some people don't. Paul Pro from, from Ad Gas, Gas would say, yum, yum, yum come, come get, get you some. some. This, this unit came from Paul Pro Ad Gas probably 20 years ago. I've still got it. It's a great piece of equipment. Can't tell you how many great meals we had on it. Welcome to the segment of Chefs of Rod and Reel. Sometimes I can't remember the name of my own segment. Anyway, I want to thank Sandy and Jody Dunmore for inviting me over today during the Saints game playing Washington. It's halftime. I know we're going to win, but it feels like the Super Bowl, actually. But anyway, these two wonderful people have busted their buns, making some great gumbo, and we're getting ready to taste it now. And uh, we've been working on it. Well, we, uh, that's a colloquial term. I didn't do anything except film. But they, yeah, I was filming, but they worked on it for about three hours, a cooking time and a preparation time, and it looks so good. So now, good, and that potato salad looks great. So I tell you what, no further ado, let's check it out. Let's see how it comes out. Mm -hmm. 